Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be making the Iron Man hand. Uh, I got the Pepakura file from the RPF website. Uh, I'll try to put a link for it in the description below. Uh, it took me about two days just to make this, um, cutting all the pieces and putting it together. Uh, it's not perfect, but I'm hoping that the Bondo will help detail it a lot better than just the paper alone. And whenever you go to resin, just make sure you have your gloves ready because it will get very messy. Okay, so I let the hand sit for about 24 hours. Uh, it's still weak in some spots, uh, especially on the back of the hand. Uh, that's where I have to really put the uh, fiberglass and also on the knuckle area. Okay, so here's the piece. The resin and fiberglass has hardened. Uh, the next step is clean off all the excess uh, fiberglass that's sticking out with uh, the Dremel. The next step is to add the Bondo. Good, just put the Bondo on. Now I just gotta let it sit and cure. And after that, all I have to do is just sand it down. Okay, and to sand it down, I'm gonna use the sandpaper. Uh, this is a uh, 80 grit. And I'm also gonna use the uh, Dremel uh, just to get it back into these crevices. Okay, just sanded off uh, most of the Bondo. I'm going to have to go back over the top and the thumb area and just fill in those gaps and sand it back down. Okay, just got done doing some of the touch-ups. The next step is to cut the back portion of the hand uh, from the knuckle and lower hand uh, portion. Okay, so here's the uh, finished product so far, just like that. Uh, I'm going to install a hinge uh, on this side of the uh, glove, and it's going to come together right there. And I'm going to install a little lip on the back side of the, uh, the top piece. And that back piece will contain a nut um, that will be secured with a countersunk uh, screw that'll go on the front side on the bottom portion. So it should be somewhere around there. It should be flushed with the uh, glove. Um, I still have to grind down some of the uh, fiberglass inside because it is a little bit of a tight fit right now. So just like that. Um, I also have to add a little bit of a filler back in uh, just because the cutoff wheel took off about a sixteenth to an eighth um, whenever I cut the piece in half. And with this, this piece right here, I just went ahead and shaved it all off. I'll install a new piece uh, that's a little bit uh, smoother, not as fat, uh, just because it, I had some difficulty putting in my uh, hand. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and drill the uh, two holes for the countersunk uh, screws.
Okay, so there we go. Fits pretty flushed with the uh, glove. I'll have to sand off this back area uh, just so it's as uh, the part that's sticking out will be as thick as the nut will be. All right, the next step is to uh, put this spacing piece inside. Uh, instead of using fiberglass, I'm just going to use a 3x5 index card that I super glued inside. Uh, I'm just going to go over it with a Bondo and sand it down. Uh, it's going to be the same for the piece that's going to hold the, the nuts for the bolt. So it'll look something like this. I just got done filling all the gaps in. Uh, I have to super glue some of the parts, just the small minor places. Um, there is a little bit of a gap up here on the top of the hand. I'm just going to leave it like that um, just so that whenever I have the glove on uh, I can get some air uh, on my hand. And here is the locking mechanism. Uh, this piece right here, I'm going to install some nuts into it after I make the mold. Um, and once the nuts are installed, I'll just put the two countersunk screws in and it'll hold it into place. Okay. Alright, uh, the next step is to put the primer onto it. All right, now I just gotta let the two pieces dry. Um, in the next video, I'm gonna make a silicone mold out of both pieces and cast a hard urethane plastic uh, piece out of each of them. And then I'll install the hinges and the, uh, the nuts for the locking mechanism. All right, well that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.